Hey there guys, I'm David Benitez from Extreme Vocal Institute, and today I'm here with my buddy Dave Dunsire at Sweetwater, and we're going to be screaming into some microphones and giving you guys some comparisons. Go ahead and talk about what some of the equipment is we have here. Awesome. So today we're running through an Apollo system. Uh, we've got everything set up with a Neve preamp. Uh, so we're staging that a little bit just to get a little extra feel. Uh, and we have a blue stripe uh, running just to add what we would normally use in metal production for overall feel and what would go into the final track. Let me uh, see what this is here while I'm checking this out. What is this mic you got here for me? This is the Rode NT1A. Mm. It's 229. It's a really popular microphone. We sell a ton of them, and you see it all over the place from metal to pop music. Uh, even on like top 10 records, you see guys using the NT1A. So it's amazingly cheap for wow. what it sounds like. So. That's amazing. And I haven't tried this one yet. Let me go ahead and I'm going to fire off some vocals. I'm going to start with a bit of false chord and I'm going to transition into fry here. I'm going to go between different vowel sounds and different kinds of expressions. And I'm going to start on the lower side. Really nice response. I'm going to transition into fry screams. Going back down. Really, really wide on this. I like that a lot. And for, it doesn't sound like it's the price point that it is. That's really sick, Dave. Yeah. This microphone, uh, you see in a ton of different applications. And for, you know, under 300 bucks, that sounds really great in my ears. Yeah, seriously. I like how right down the middle this is. So kind of no matter what genre of music you're doing, I could hear this really working with whatever, especially. Because we don't really have any sort of really intense super processing going on. So this is really a lot of what this mic oh, really sounds like. That's sick. Let's move on. Here we are, the classic 7B. This one's definitely real popular metal-wise. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. My whole thing, every time I've used one of these, there's definitely ooh, a darker response. Let me make some sound so you can kind of hear what I mean. <laughs> Which makes the lows sound great. I miss a little of the high end, but it's one of those things where it's definitely more style specific, and you can't you can't argue with tried and true. Fry screams definitely have a super specific kind of sound with the 7B. Especially because you're hearing this back to back. The, the response is super great, especially because of the way that we're running it in here. I just miss a teeny bit of the high end with different vocals here and there, but that's always something that can be done EQ wise after the fact, or additionally, like diff depending on the kind of metal or rock you're doing, if it has a bit of that kind of older feel to it, because definitely a lot of mixes in what we do tend to lean on the darker side, unless it's more of a super modern sound. That's why this ends up being so popular. And I know like the price point's definitely a big part of it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, these mics come in at 399, and what's really great about them is they work in untreated rooms. So something really popular for home musicians who really need a great sound, but they can't maybe treat their room or the space is reflective, great option. Yeah, the biggest thing for me that I enjoy about this as entry level for like, a, like for example, a lot of my students at Extreme Vocal Institute get this as their first mic or they already have it. Sometimes people don't know this and I have to kind of explain. This is to make sure that you are already the correct distance away from what's actually tracking you on the inside. So you want to make sure you're nice and up close to this and not doing the thing you see sometimes where you're kind of like a mile away from it just to be safe and make sure you're putting enough in there. Let's check out the next mic. This one's one you've been talking to me about for a while. What is this? So this is the Austrian Audio OC818. 
Uh, Austrian is a pretty new company. Mm. Um, I've used this microphone myself for a couple different projects, and I find that it translates really well in most rooms. It's really nice. Even like coming up to it now, I really like the like the sweetness of this. This is really sick. Let me let me run through my sounds here. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Be Wow! More false cordy. Let me go fry. Wow! Wow! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Wow! 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 Yeah, it's definitely different. Wow! I haven't really heard one like that before. There's something in that mid range there that's super cool with that drive in. That could be really useful for different things screaming wise. I'm definitely gonna have to play around with this a little more on my own as well. Yeah, it's a really cool, really cool kind of sound profile there for screaming, kind of across the board. That's really nice. Hell yeah. I have not used something Earthworks yet. I'm definitely already hearing a difference in like mid-high area. It's kind of, this is interesting. Definitely different than what you hear in a lot of different metal and rock stuff. I'm kind of jumping across the spectrum here, scream-wise, because I'm kind of listening to what that kind of does when you transition. Mike itself like definitely has its own kind of character. I can't quite put a finger on what I would use this with, but it's definitely an interesting kind of unexpected coloring to this. <laughs> yeah, it, it's fun. I like it. This is cool. It's a handheld cardioid condenser too, so oh, this yeah. is a, this is a live microphone. Um, but hit, <laughs> Earthworks is really known for their drum microphones, mm -hmm. uh, and this one's kind of a, a wild card. Um, but very pristine, high head room. That's what's cool about Earthworks. Yeah, holding this on stage would be quite the statement. But the sound's definitely super clear. I could see that working really well. The Telefunk and stuff, I am right at home with. These are things I've been using for years. And this, the Telefunk and the TF51, is what I have at home right now. This is like the different level... Uh, price point mic for the 250 one that we're going to be using too. This is really awesome. The nice thing is like the the hype right in the high end. <laughs> really helps those low screams really get in there and cut. <laughs> Especially for the more distorted stuff. <laughs> and with the high or the fry. Crispy! It's really, really nice and definitely suits the modern style a little more. Like if you're doing like a death metal or prog, it's not necessarily gonna like sit in the same place as the rest of the music. But like if you're doing like the more modern metal thing, ooh, ooh, yeah, this is definitely something that you might want to consider. I, I have a lot of fun with this one personally. So what I like about the TF-51 is that it's really a median tier price point for a high grade studio microphone. I mean, it's under $2,000 and it's yeah. really got the sound of the 251 but at a more accessible place. And there's obviously big differences when you get into that level of microphone, but here in our headphones, it has the same impact of like what I hear when we're in the studio. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what I expect to hear when I have that really high level, like quality studio experience. So the fact that you can kind of get this in this sort of packaging is really sick. I can tell already that I'm gonna personally have some fun with this one. This is one I know you've been talking about with me what is this guy this is the manly reference okay. uh one of my personal favorite microphones uh it is known as like kind of one of the hotter clearer microphones i for, get that yeah it's a cardioid condenser um and it's it's used pretty commonly throughout a lot of modern metal bands right now you're we're seeing a lot of producers use this mic yeah this is going to be my first crack let's take a look Ooh. Ooh. Definitely a different kind of proximity effect. 
from the other ones, I almost get a little bit, just a little bit of like a radio vibe almost when it's just straight in like this. Yo! With the super distorted screams, I'm hearing a lot of extra things in there in terms of like the way it's kind of beefing up the like the middle harmonics like if i do one of these right in the middle there i'm gonna switch that's really cool very very pronounced that is very fun. That is a very fun mic. I definitely like the response on that and definitely really great for the modern thing too. What's something you notice about it compared to some of the other microphones so far? I think it's interesting because I know a lot of mics are made to, you want clarity, you want it to sit right in the middle so it's not like you're getting a super like different version of yourself, but they do have unique voices and there are some really great different qualities to this. And the thing with screaming is the fact that instead of like with regular singing or like voiceover stuff, all of those harmonics and overtones are in the front seat. They're driving the car. So the response of all of that and the way it's all getting picked up here really helps to create different kinds of character with the scream. And that's going to be able to help you and your songs really lean into the subject matter as well, because it can really help to assist. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's fantastic. This I've spent a lot of time with. This is stuff I've done a lot on just because this response I know personally works really well with my voice. Talk to me about this a little bit. The Elam 251E is one of the hallmarks of Telefunken. It is a microphone that we use here at Sweetwater Studios a lot, mm. and it's a microphone that does everything from pop to metal. And not every metal vocalist really knows about the 251E because it is yeah. in the $10,000 range for microphones. So this is... Yeah, so this isn't really one you would have in your house, but if the studio you're going to and the producer you're working with has something like this, definitely give it a shot, especially for screaming. A lot of people's voices, depending on who you are, definitely lean towards the darker side of things. So a mic like this really helps to kind of breathe new life into the way the screams sound. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even use like a darker tone of voice to show you a little of what I mean, especially because this one kind of does it the most. So here's what super dark sounds like. And yet it's still... Uh, right in right in that sweet spot and if i kind of brighten up what i'm doing even a little bit the response is pretty wild Whoa. like even with the more the crazier distorted stuff like this you get such supreme clarity and that's really the thing that's the most important with screaming in context with music even though it's wild even though like it's really intense and depending on the style of metal you're doing it can be all over the place having clarity in what you're performing into it is going to be so great on the other side for kind of the way everything just communicates and when you're listening to this music like being able to really hear that voice no, no. right there is really something yeah. So, I mean, with all of the microphones that mm. we've tried out, you know, like you do hear some dramatic differences between the microphones that are down on the lower end of the spectrum and on the higher end of the spectrum. Um, but it's amazing how functional all these microphones are running through the same settings and what results you can get all in the box. And then it all comes down to like the level that you're at and if you're doing things at home or if you're in a band where you're starting to actually do things with different producers, going to other studios where you don't actually have to own the equipment yourself, if they have the equipment there and you have the chance to be able to try out some of these different things for yourselves, either what we've had in this video or just whatever's out there, as you're seeing, it's not like anything's any better or any worse, you can just tell that it's just different and it depends on what you're going for. And the most exciting thing is there's nothing but options out there, both for the way that you can vocalize 
what you can use your vocals for and what you're running into. This has been really fascinating. This has been really fun, man. Thanks so much for coming out. I mean, especially with everything that you do in the metal world, it's amazing to see you know, what we can do in front of all these mics and, yeah. you know, how it's going to sound on the record. Yeah, and this is really sick. And for all of you watching this, like, let us know in the comments what you think about the different responses of these different mics. What would you use some of these for? That's always the conversation I really like to have. I know I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that. Let us know what you think of the different things you've heard here and what kind of directions you would kind of take with this or what mics you guys are using at home too i'd love to know thank you all for watching and again we're both dave i'm from extreme vocal institute and this dave is with sweetwater if you have any questions or comments reach out to your sweetwater sales engineer jump on sweetwater.com to check out these mics and get one into your studio oh yeah no matter how many questions you have Blah! <laughs> <laughs> had to hit him with one <laughs> That's fun.